just written an article about how to get the best from your drone reads, setting them up so that they stay in tune and they don't fluctuate once you've got them in tune. And they continue, they continue to make a steady pitch um, within certain variances in, in pressure. Now when I talk about the tuning pin, it's this section here that goes between the top section of the drone and the bottom section. This is the bit we move up and down to, to tune. Now, what I state in the article is that this must be nice and tightly hemped and even, uh, in other words, parallel, and because the hemp's nice and tight on here, there's no gaps. So when you put it on here, there's no air getting between the joint and the top of the bass drum. Any leaks there can cause instability. The other thing I mentioned in the article is the fact that this needs to be slightly tighter than this. So when you turn this, any time there's no chance of this turning at all. And it's also tight enough so that it's not going to move up and down on the pin as you're playing. So getting those two pressures or the, 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 um, how tight they are is, is very important. Of course, if, when you're tuning your drone, you want to be able to do this with one hand. You know, take a look at the uh, drone reed itself, taking it out here. Now, it's very important to make sure that this joint here between the body of the drone reed and the drone reed seat is very tight and there's no chance of air getting between the reed and the reed seat. If any air gets through, that's going to make it very, very unstable. I've also put this bit of hemp in here, as you can see. This is very good. If your drone does fall out, for some reason, sometimes they do. It's all that happened to all of us at some point or other. During a competition or a gig, you don't have to search around in your bag. I'm playing a skin bag here, and if it fell in there, it'd be really hard to get out and it'd be covered in seasoning. It would probably get under the tongue and I'd have to wash it. Uh, anyway, it'd take forever. So if you put this little bit of hemp on here, it stops you falling in the bag. Another good little tip. Now when you're putting it back into the pipe, be very careful. These are rocket reeds and they have these great big bridles on them. It's so easy to just knock them like that when you're putting it in. Obviously that's going to knock it completely out of whack. And it will also make this side of the blade longer than this side, which can cause the, some problems with instability as well. So try and get it as close to 90 degrees as you possibly can. I'm just going to retest that because I move the bridle. <laughs> Now what I'm doing there when I retest as well, I'm blowing harder and softer to see if there's any pitch change. I didn't hear anything then, so this read seems to be quite well set up. If you do hear a change in pitch, just give the bridle a little tweak, just a, a nudge can make all the difference. Um, if you're using easy drones, you can almost put a bit of pressure on the back of the bridle, and that's enough. You don't even see it move, but that's enough to get that to, to even out. So when you blow into it, Change the pressure up and down. If there's any change at all in pitch, you need to just give that bridle a little tweak and uh, with any luck, it'll be done. If you can't get it right, probably time for a new read. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the stock here very carefully. And that's good to go. <laughs> this isn't the fucking BBC. <laughs>